What is curiosity all about? This is a question I would like to discuss with you today. And I will do this not from a psychological point of view, but by referring through ancient Greek mythology. And there's one fascinating but funny story which might have helped to understand how the ancient Greeks understood curiosity and which god in her understanding was in charge of curiosity. It is the story of the birth of the god Hermes. Hermes was considered to be the god of both merchants and thieves. And you will soon find out why he was considered to be the god of merchant and thieves. Once upon a time in a hidden cave on Mount Kylini on the island of Peloponnes, the beautiful nymph Maya gave birth to a lovely baby she called Hermes, son of Zeus, the emperor of the universe. The funny thing is that only a couple of minutes after she gave birth to Hermes, the little baby boy jumped out of his cradle, stepped out of the cave and into the world. He was, even though only a couple of hours old, obviously pretty curious. He wanted to explore the universe which was governed by his father. He wanted to find out what's going on there, out in the light. The first thing he saw was a flock of beautiful cattle. And he thought to himself, why? What is this? Let me find out what's going to happen if I were to take the cattle away. And what he actually did is that he stole the cattle from his most beautiful, powerful elder brother, Apollo, who was not amused about Hermes, baby boy, stealing his beloved animals. Well, I will not tell you the whole story, but to make a long story short, at the end of the day, the two brothers reconciled and Hermes became one of the most popular of ancient Greek gods. Now, what has this got to do with curiosity? Obviously, Hermes is curious. And we understand, and this is a beautiful thing about the ancient myths, is that in curiosity there is a certain kind of ambiguity. Curiosity means to interact with the world, to find out what it's all about, to explore and to discover the truth in the world. And sometimes when you interact with other people, it might happen that you do them something wrong, that you become a criminal, only because you just want to check out and to find out what's happening there. From the ancient Greek perspective, not that much wrong with that, given, and this is true for Hermes in any case, driven that it's all done for life's sake. And this is what Hermes actually teaches us. He is a god who interacts with others. He is a god of merchandise, of treating. He is a god of economy. And what he teaches us is that economy will be really for good if it happens for life's sake. If you want to be fully alive, and this is what we can learn from Hermes, when you really want to be fully alive, it is important to interact with others, to perform merchandise, to sometimes interact with other people through other things. But anyway, interaction, conversation is the most important thing. Why? To become fully alive, to unfold, to evolve your own individuality, to become a beautiful individual being. This will not happen if you remain in the cave where you've been born, in the cave of your constant opinions, in the, so in the cave of your belief systems. No. To become fully alive means to step out of the cave, to get into the world, to enter into life, to interact with others, and through this to become an individual beautiful being. And this is a cosmic truth that the ancient Greeks cherished by honoring the god Hermes, who was one of the most important and most beautiful of the ancient Greek gods. So if you want to be become important and beautiful, it's a good idea to reconnect with this Hermes energy in your daily routines, in business and in your private life as well. Thank you.